Good morning. How are you all doing? Thank you all for coming. Uh, I was kind of surprised when I saw people all the way from uh, South Africa, Australia, Ireland, uh, where else? France coming here, uh, uh, more people from Ireland. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for taking your, uh, uh, spending the time to, to come here and, and be with us this weekend. Uh, first of all, I'd like to, to say that a lot of, a lot of work has, come, uh, has gone into preparing the seminar. And, but no matter how much we, we do to, to give to you, uh, it, it will work much better. It won't work unless you are involved, yes? So I want to make sure that everybody is in a peak state, is, is standing straight, is, uh, uh, has their full attention on. So uh, let's see if you're really awake today. Do you want to make a lot of money? Say yes. yes. Let's try this again. This was really good. Do you want to make a lot of money? Say yes. Yes. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let, do you want to make a lot of money? Say yes. Yes. Okay, so let's get started. Now I'm, uh, now I'm, so I'm ready as well. Okay, so I'll, I'll start with a little story. I'm always terrible at these little introductions. I'm, I'm great when I get into them. So a little story. So I'm working at my laptop. And it's four years ago, and I'm working in Earl's Court. And I'm completely broke. I don't have a penny to my name. Not only that, I'm about 7,000 pounds in debt. And I'm working away at my laptop, working for free for my mentor. Because I heard from Robert Kiyosaki, don't work to earn, work to learn. Go and find somewhere where you can, uh, you can work. And instead of uh, just working for the paycheck, work so that you can learn something from, from that workplace, from, from that person there. So I'm working away, and Marcus is behind me, making tons of money on his, on his computer. And I hear him snigger, like, huh. And I hear him say, huh, it is so easy to make money. It is so easy to make money. He's just looking at his computer screen, and he's thinking, it is so easy to make money. And I felt at that point, imagine me, broke, didn't have a place to stay. I felt like turning around and just, what do you mean, Marcus, that it's so easy to make money? D don't you realize I'm broke, I'm homeless, I don't have a place to stay, I don't have any money, I'm, I'm in debt. It's hard to make money. I, I was ready to, to confront him and say, Marcus, you don't know what you're talking about. It's hard, it's really, really hard to make money. And as I turned around to say this to him, I realized that he was actually standing on this huge pile of manuals and, and scribble notes and home study courses and these DVDs that he'd invested in, all, these, all this information and knowledge. He had spent 40,000 pounds and three years of his time learning how to invest in the stock market, right? So there was 40,000 pounds worth of information and he was sitting on top of it. And he was looking over this, this wall and what he could see from that vantage point was a vast expanse of opportunity. He had if you will, a higher awareness of the opportunities to make money. Does that make sense? And so I'm turning around and I see him. This is kind of a, this was happening in my mind, of course. He wasn't actually sitting on a pile of DVDs. Uh, and, and I realized I need to learn what this man knows. I need to get to this higher vantage point, this higher awareness of opportunities of how to make money. And in the next two years, I spent practically all the money that I was making in learning strategies on how to become financially free, how to generate an income, how to make money through the internet. That was, that was my way. A few days later, I did confront him. I was very upset with him for, for some other reason. And he grabbed me and he shook me. And he said, Mark, listen, look at yourself. Look at the situation, you've, uh, look at what you've become. You're a bum, you're on the streets, you don't have a place to stay. You know, this is, this, is not, this is not you. What are you going to do about it? You know that money is nothing but the measure of the value you create for other people. And, and he slapped me around a little bit and said, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? And I, and I ran out of there crying. Because he, essentially what he was saying was that I wasn't adding enough value and that's why I didn't have enough, enough money. So I took, it, I took that very personally, right? So I started running through the streets of Earl's Court and it's pouring down with rain. And I end up at Brompton Road Cemetery. Anybody knows 
old Bumpton Road Cemetery, yes. And so I'm running through the cemetery, crying, and it's pouring down with rain, and I'm, and I'm soaking wet. <clears throat> and I was in so much pain thinking about how I couldn't help my family. I couldn't even help myself. I didn't even have enough money to buy food. I had to think about whether spending uh, 30 cents on a cucumber or, or, a bro or some broccoli. That, th those were the big decisions ruling my, my days. Cucumber or broccoli? Can I afford cucumber or should I buy broccoli? I'm not, I wasn't too sure. And, and in that moment, I made a decision that I will never let money control my life again. I will never let money control my life again. Who here would like to be in a situation where you have so much money coming in from so many different sources, whether you're working or not, so you never have to work again in your life, you never have to go to a job again. If you like that kind of a situation, say yes. Yes. Say yes. Yes. Okay, because that's what this seminar is about. I want to share with you the best information and strategies from what I've learned over the last four years from my mentors. Cut a long story short, I woke back to my place where I was staying. I was squatting in a building off Earl's Court Road. And I took my journal, and I took a pen, and I started writing in my journal exactly what I wanted for my life. I started writing my goals. I then also started identifying my limiting beliefs about money, and I did something about that. I'll, I'll touch upon it briefly uh, later. I did some two other things. I wrote down 100 reasons why I had to make more money. My big goal was to make 2,000 pounds a month. Oh my god. I'd worked as a security guard, earning three pounds 75 an hour, worked in telesales for a bit. I'd never made more than 1,000 pounds a month. So 2,000 pounds a month, I was like, wow, I'll be a millionaire. And so I wrote down 100 reasons why. I then brainstormed 100 ways how to make more money. The 96th way was ebooks. I'd heard a friend of mine mention that he was making $2,000 a month from ebooks. I called him up. I said, Francis, listen, here's the situation. Uh, first of all, are you still making money from your ebook? Yes. Francis, I'm broke. I'm in London. I remember meeting you six months before the seminar. Listen, uh, I'll come and work for you for free. I explained to him the whole Robert Kiyosaki thing work to learn rather than work to earn. Francis, I'll come, I'll work for you for free, just, just let me know how can I copy, how can I copy your formula for making $2,000 a month on the internet? Now that's back when $2,000 actually was more than five quid. But uh, so uh, he said, Mark, you know, don't worry. He gave me his formula. He, he told me go to these four websites, four websites. I followed his formula. 28 days later, I had an ebook on the internet making $10,000 a month in passive income in 28 days. So went from being broke and uh, in a, uh, uh, squatting in a building to $10,000 a month, simply by following a formula that I believed in. I believed that it worked because he, he told me it worked. He, he was a very successful uh, engineering consultant and he had these, these uh, e-books. Why am I starting this, this talk with, with this little story? The reason why I'm here today is because that, ma that man, by spending the time and sharing with him, with me, sharing with me what he knew, it made a dramatic impact on my life. I can't begin to tell you how it changed everything on every level, emotionally, relationship-wise, health-wise, financially, of course, uh, relationships with my family. So I, I feel it's my duty and obligation and, and my joy as well, my mission in life now, to continue that and share that with more people. And my hope is that with you knowing this information at the end of this weekend, you will go out and impact other people's lives. Do you want to impact people's lives? Say yes. yes. Do you want to make more money? Say yes. yes. What you'll find out at the seminar that impacting people's lives and making more money is one and the, one and the same. So, if you're up for it, so we begin? Yes. Fantastic. Great. So I've got this new clicker. I've got this little, I'm not sure if it's a clicker warmer or something. I found out that I can, I can warm my fingers two at a time with this little thing as well. This is brilliant. We might auction this off later. And uh, so, let's see how this works. There we go. So that's me in 2005 in Earl's Court putting on my rollerblades. It's on the Tesco forecourt at, at, uh, Earl's Court, uh, in Earl's Court. And, um, and that's the first website that I, that I began. Well, actually, this is the second website. I first had my, my e-books website, right? This is me in 2003 as a security guard 
Uh, and then in telesales, I'd earn $12,000 in one year, $12,000. And by learning then certain strategies about how to make money, like the one that Francis shared with me, uh, which was a very simple system really, it was a, it was a process. Drive traffic to this system and it will generate an income for you. And I knew I could do this. It, it was simple enough for me to understand. I had no idea about marketing. I had no idea about the internet. I had no idea about how to set up, God knows I didn't know anything about setting up a website, I still don't know. Uh, but I could follow the, the, the four steps that he gave me and, and this was a simple enough model for me to, to get my head around. The result has been over $1.4 million in sales of eBooks, uh, more than $400,000 in sales of a simple seven DVD home study course last year. But also in 2006, we did a lot of seminars, big boot camp type events for 500 to 1,000 people, and that generated more than $2 million in sales in just one year, on top of my eBooks income and DVDs and all of that, and mentoring program as well. Here's some of the successes I've had uh, in seminars, for example when I had my seminar company. We did 180,000 pounds in two days. So I went from earning three pounds 75 an hour to learning a bit about marketing and sales to, uh, to doing 180,000 pounds in one day. Unfortunately, it didn't all come to me, of course. There were speakers, promoters, and all that involved. But uh, 180,000 pounds in, in just two days. We then did another one, 230,000 pounds in two days. And the final one we did, did 413,000 pounds in just two days. But beyond those big paydays, which I must admit don't happen, it's not every weekend that, that we do this kind of thing, right? Uh, what I love about this business that I'm going to share with you is that you can have income on autopilot. Who would like to wake up in the morning and you've already made $300, $400, $500? If you'd like to wake up in the morning and you've already made while you slept $500, say yes. Yes. Fantastic. Because I've created some products that I've put on the internet, whether, um, whether I'm working or not, every day, practically every hour, people go and find my website and they, they buy my products, which are then shipped uh, from Cyprus or they're downloaded automatically. Uh, I have uh, various uh, payment gateways where we collect the payments for, for different products and uh, it never ceases to amaze me. I will, I'll tell you this, I still stand on my laptop sometimes and look at the numbers uh, of uh, what we're doing and I cannot believe, I still have to pinch myself after four years when I realize that I'm, I've been on the beach and I've been windsurfing and I come home and we've had maybe 30 sales and it's been like thousands of pounds in sales whilst I'm windsurfing for example. So there, these are just various uh, payment gateways that uh, I did a snapshot of recently. I'll give you an example of last month, just to, to give you an idea of where my income is coming from, from the, uh, the different sources. Three and a half thousand pounds last month from ebooks, two thousand from DVDs, six thousand pounds from affiliate marketing, we're going to talk a bit about this as well, uh, seven thousand pounds from product licenses, three thousand pounds from uh, the mentoring program that I offer, 16,000 pounds from the seminar tickets and 3,000 pounds from Forex trading. This is a new thing that I'm doing in the first month has gone up by 31%. Who would like to learn how to do that? Say yes. yes. <laughs> and uh, maybe I might touch upon it towards the end of the, of the seminar. Uh, it, it's been going approximately at 20%, 25% a month. So 31% is kind of uh, uh, out of the norm. Although there's been months where it's been considerably more than that. But the, there needs to be the right confluence of uh, uh, events for that to happen. What I've, just, what I've just shown you there is just a very simple system. Traffic being sent to a system produces all of these different income streams. By the end of this seminar, each one of you will have an, at least one idea. I'll actually give you something like uh, 200 different uh, niche markets for you to apply the specific system I'm going to give you. So you'll all have uh, uh, an abundance of choices to choose what, uh, what you want to apply this system to. But essentially, what you've just seen there has just been for me applying the simple, simple formula. This is, uh, in a nutshell, my business. I will get into it a bit later, how exactly I make money on the internet. This is one of my businesses. <clears throat> this is, uh, I've, uh, 
I will show you a bit about my ebooks business as well. I've, uh, I've set up this new business recently, Wealth Magnetics, where essentially traffic generation comes to my opt-in page, which gives away a free DVD. And from that opt-in page, then people start uh, getting letters and emails about my seminars or about home study courses or, or product licenses or mentoring program, etc. All that on autopilot. So, this is what you're here for. Imagine having a business like this. You can work from anywhere in the world that you want. Your business runs on autopilot, makes you money while you sleep. No staff, no office, no shop, no commuting necessary. That, that's what I hated about having a job, the, the commuting to work, plus the, the boss lady. I called her the dragon lady. She was a real nightmare. What, one of my biggest motivations is that one day, I was working in telesales briefly, and I asked, I asked uh, uh, Carol, Carol, if you're ever watching this, I asked Carol, Carol, can I please uh, take two hours for lunch? Because it was a beautiful day in Chesham, Buckinghamshire. And I'd like to take two hours for lunch. I'll, I'll make it up later in the evening or tomorrow. It just, it's such a beautiful day. I'd like to go and, and have a picnic in the, in the park. And she said no. And I, at that point, I thought to myself, this whole job thing, I said, what happened at that point? As soon as she said no, I realized something. And I was 23 at the time. I realized that a job, we think that we have a lot of you know, free choice, free will, but when you're in a job, it's actually a, it's a cage, it's, it's a prison. You're not actually free to do as you please. At that point in time, if I told her to get lost, I'm going anyway, I would have lost my job and I wouldn't have had an income. As it turns out, they fired me a few months later anyway, so I might have, maybe I should have gone for that picnic, I don't know. Um, but uh, that was a, that's a big thing. No office, no staff, no, no commuting, no overheads, no boss to look uh, over you kind of thing. Cost practically nothing to set up. I set up my first internet business with 250 pounds. 250 pounds. 250 pounds got me my ClickBank registration for $50, got me my domain name for 10 pounds, got me the hosting for another $10, I think. Uh, and the web designer did everything for, I think, maybe 150 pounds. Uh, which I actually paid later after, after the money started coming in because you, you need to negotiate with, these, uh, with your copywriters and web designers, etc. We'll talk about this a bit later. And other people sell your products for you. So imagine having a business like this, which costs little to set up and you can sell to people all over the world. Would that be cool? Yes. Good. Meet Joanna, my personal assistant. She is my secret weapon. Whilst I'm doing what I'm doing and, and having a good time and, and uh, spending time on the beach, etc., she takes care of the emails, customer service. If you ever got an email from me, it was actually from me, but if you got an email from, uh, from her, it was from her. <laughs> Do you think they got that? Yes, okay. Good. Okay. Um, no, uh, to be honest, yes, it is me that's an that answers my emails to send to Mark at markandestats.com, but she answers all the other uh, customer queries about ebooks, for example. Uh, paying bills, banking, etc., booking flights, updating databases, typing and transcribing, online research, shopping and house management. I have practically nothing to do. There's days, I must say, that I'm, I'm there and I'm thinking to myself, okay, what am I meant to do today? Because she takes care of everything else. All I need to focus on is creating new products, new solutions for my clients and take care of my mentoring clients, of course. So while she's doing that, while I have my websites bringing in income and I have Joanna taking care of everything else, I have a, a lifestyle I could have never imagined just a few years ago. This is me in France, then I flew to Cyprus, then flew to Greece to go skiing again, then to Senegal, then to, uh, then to back to Cyprus, there I am with, uh, with Sonny. Where's Sonny? He's out. Uh, this is a million pound property that I bought in Cyprus. I couldn't hold on to it for various reasons, but uh, uh, I went from basically not having a place to stay to buying a million pound property in the mountains of Troodos. Uh, then flew to London, went back to Cyprus, spent some time in Cyprus with Ben Lau, who's going to be speaking right after me at 10.30. Uh, went back to London, uh, to, do a, to attend a UPW seminar, back to Cyprus, uh, back to Greece, Qatar and Singapore with Ben Lowry again, uh, back to London and Blackpool, back to Athens, back to Cyprus, then to Athens, uh, London again, Dublin, actually back to Cyprus, then Dublin, London, Larnaca, Ireland, Ireland, uh, and 
for my sister's wedding in July in, in France. And finally, uh, uh, and that's my sister. The next adventures, uh, I'm thinking about going to uh, maybe the Maldives or something like that. I need, to, uh, I need to uphold my image. So enough of Cyprus, I'm gonna go to someplace more exotic. So again, imagine having a business like this. You can work from anywhere in the world. Your business runs on autopilot, no staff, no office, etc. Costs practically nothing to set up and other people sell your products for you. Again, if you want to say yes, yes. yes. cool, I'm just checking if everybody, everybody is here.